quarterfinal number three. And as a complete contrast to the previous game where we had three Dutchmen on the stage, we have a man from Hong Kong, a man from Holland, and a man from Denmark. A man from Denmark being Christian Sorensen, your referee. A man from Hong we Kong being this man, really Kai van Leung, and Owen Rulos, your man from the Netherlands. The players are now bull up. That's a 25. 25 for Kai. Owen also hits the 25, so they'll have another go. This time it'll be Owen throwing first. Outside the green. Outside of the 25 this time, so Kai knows he's just got to come inside of that dart, which he does successfully, 25. and Kai van Leung has won the darts. So. Kai, of course, got first. to the final Game of on. yesterday's World Open, where he lost out to the Slovenian Benjamin Pratnamar, who was literally wow. leaping around the stage at his victory. And fair play to him. He beat a, a highly competitive field in that World Open. 59. These two gentlemen. Kai van Leung, thanks to this run, is almost, well, he's 99.9% .9 certain to be at the lakeside in 2023 or to have qualified. Owen, on the hey, other hand, he's, he ha he's playing for two things here. Of course, the World Masters, but also the winner, of course, with this being a platinum event, goes straight to the lakeside. So, 60. Kai has come through a group he won all three of his group games relatively simply. 4-0, 4-2, 4-2 against Carls Arula of Catalonia. 68. Then Michel van der Horst of the Netherlands and Joe Hedrick of the United States. Move then on as we pause to see if Owen can fill up the 180, but not to be. He, Kai then moved on to the last 1-8 where he beat America's Jason Brandon 5-4 in a, in a close contest before he averaged his, just about his highest average in the tournament so far of 95.13 in dispatching Raymond Williamson 5-0 in the last 64. Ivo Lixmeyer in the last 32 was his next victim, 5-1. was a great tussle with the number one seed, Jelle Klassen in the last 16. Kai van Leung coming out the 5-3 victory with a 95.10 average. That's how Kai got to the last eight. 52. He's started this game very well. He's got to he'll be back to throw at tops because Owen can't trouble him on 182. 96. Kai, you require 40. The tops it is then for Kai Fan Leung to take the first leg. Very deliberate player. Uh, very the deliberately leader. places the first dart in the double top. The 39-year-old from Hong Kong leads 1-0. Yep, nice first leg from Kai. We can also have a look at Owen's route to the quarterfinals. Started the group stage, a 4-2 victory over Xavier Placosta of Catalonia. 4-0 over Antonio Munoz Ramos. 39. And then a highly competitive 4-3 victory over Gary Stone. Both men averaging over 90 in that one. Mm. That got him into the 1-2-8. The one one as he won Rulers batters in the first 180 of the match. The last one two eight he played Norway's Vegar Elvival. A 5-2 victory there. A 5-4 victory over Germany's Liam Mandel Lawrence. And then in the last 32, averaging 100.91 and a 5-2 victory over Belgium's David Venkin. Mm. Impressive stats there. 57. Absolutely. And then the last 16, it was Netherlands versus the Netherlands as he defeated Alexander Merckx by five legs to two. 59. Best of nine legs all the way through the knockout 16. stages until the semis. It was up to best of 11. And our men's final will be the best of 13. Yes, lots of 84. thoughts about the, the format. 
we've had at the World Masters, the Windmill World Masters, of course, in uh, ye olden days, it was a straight, we've had straight knockout all the way through with, with no group stages. We've had set play instead of leg play. We've had the seeds join in the tournament a bit later on. We've Game from the second leg. Nice, nice simple hold there for Owen Third in leg two. To it's interesting to hear lots of different views about yeah. whether she can. I think the one overarching item item that we brought in pauses for Kai to not knock in a maximum. The one I think overwhelming agreement from. I think well over 90% of the players is the group stages and the fact that we're giving everybody the chance to have two, three, four, in some cases, games in their group. So they're yeah. not traveling half of the world for one game. And with all that anticipation, their, their, their moment is killed off very quickly. But also from the, the, the higher ranked players, they could simply run into a, a player that doesn't do the tour but comes to the World Masters and they lose out with a in one game against a 60. person that's just happened to hit their form on that day. They also had the chance to go carry on in that group. And we saw that with the likes of Aileen de Graff in the ladies. Yep. Lost her first game, but still came through the group. Yella Klassen didn't win his group, but has come through. 96. It's all opinion. Absolutely. And I think before the tournament, the, the thing that I saw the most on social media was people disappointed, I think, is this mm. about the change of format in the matches that we were losing the set play. Mm. Yes, no, that's fair. That's fair, and it's something that we take away and we have a look at for next year. But the thing I have to say, in contrast to that, is whatever criticisms or opinions were being shared, they've been long since forgotten, I would say, because... It's been the best run, best organised Windmill World Masters mm. in, in my memory in all the years I've been involved. 68. Indeed. And it's testament to the fantastic effort of the WDF and the Netherlands Darts Bond as Kai goes for double 16 for a 2 1 lead. Yes, yeah, seen darts. Owen was just beginning to think I could be having a shot at 108 here, but it wasn't to be. One currently averaging just a shade under 100. Kai averaging 84. Just goes to show you averages mean nothing. 59. Indeed. <clears throat> 100. Excellent stuff. One point separating these players after six darts thrown each. 100. Good darts, Owen. Down to a finish. Tough finish, but it is a finish. As I mentioned, Owen, a former semi finalist in the Windmill World Masters boys competition. Mm hmm. 126. Was back in 2019. Lost that, that semi final 4 0 to Charlie Manby. 102. Also reached the semi finals of the Irish Classic this year. Did Owen, he lost in that semi to Gary Stone. Owen, you require 59. And 59 here for 2-2. Two, two. 19 for tops. Oh. 19. Can't chance for Kai, yeah. But a chance for Kai, you Kai Fan Young, you'd suggest. Level 20 for double 10. Another single would leave tops. Tops it is for a 3-1 lead. 
Six. Not to be. Oh, and you require 40. Has to readjust an inch or so down. Not that far, Owen. <laughs> Takes a step back. Recalibrates, readjusts. It's double ten for Desmond. Oh, and he's gone in the wrong 32. bed. Kai, 20. Very unlucky from the young Dutchman. Only 20 years old. And Kai wants 20 to win this fourth leg. Double five. Okay, yes. Fourth leg. Opens up three. a two-leg lead. And that was a th against the darts as well. Fifth leg, it's Kai to throw first. Game I mean, on. you can see the pain in his face there. Mm. Comes from a, a darting family, does own His brother, once a very good darts player himself, Colin, 59. former Lakeside World Youth Champion. Cover shooting here from Kai. 96. One hundred. Just about snuck down the right hand side of the board there. Ninety-six. Mid-match lull, mm. safe to be said. 140. That's better though from Kai. Brings him down to 110 next time. Owen needed two trebles to leave himself on a finish. 84. So Kai Fan Leung has six darts if he needs them for 110 to take a 4-1 lead. Move on to the hill, one leg away from the semis. And he will need that second visit. Eighty left. Oh, great dart. Ninety. Super setup. Yes, it's looking tough now. From the the man from the Netherlands looking to be the third man into our quarterfinals. Is that too late? Because Kai van Loon can go one leg away with this. Double ten. Wow. Well, you get points for that in a, in other games of darts. <laughs> well, the, the double five has come to his rescue for a second time. Six legs. Double, yeah, double ten hasn't really been his friend in this match. However, double five, as you say, coming to his rescue. Takes him to four one. And it's now. 85. All to do for Owen Roloffs. Come on, he says. 42. 42. Look at this, though. Excellent oh. stuff. Well. Gone his throw, but... No time to get well, unless you want one eight one. There's no <laughs> such time as a and to get a bad. There's no bad time to get a one eighty. Is Correct. what I was trying to say. Yes. <laughs> He's back in again. Look, <laughs> a nod of his oh. head. <laughs> What's well, to say? Where have those been all this match? Back to back one eighties for Owen Rulos. Possible. 11 dart leg coming in. I won't be too worried about this. It was Owen's throw anyway. 
He'll be throwing first at the start of the next leg. Tops it is then for 4 2. Oh. Tops he gets for the leg of Darter. Scintillating leg of darts from the young Dutchman. But now this is where the important part of the match begins. As far as Owen Rulofs is concerned, he has to break, hold, and break. Mm. 96. And if he keeps the scoring power from the last leg, he might just do it as he hits a five. <laughs> 45. Much, much better. Well in front in this one now. Oh, and he did a couple of trebles 16. just to... Get himself back into it, but Kai 118 points in front. And barring a catastrophe, will be first to the finish. 44. Unless Owen Rulofs can fire in a max, nothing else will do if he wants to leave a finish. 100. Staying down. Ooh. Well, an opening for Owen here. Yep, Kai's made a bit of a pig's ear of this. Forty-one. But he's got away with it. So we've already seen a 140 checkout on this stage today. Can we see another? Not this time. Smile on the face of Owen Ruloff. He knows. Oh, he knows he could be in a spot of bother here. He could. He's going to have to find a two treble visit, you'd suggest, to put the pressure on to Kai Fan Leung. And that is not helpful. Because 1 2 1 will still leave him 74 points short. He's frustrated. Well, he has left a finish, but it's a big ask. And it's all dependent on what Kai Fan Leung does here. 59 19 for tops, replacing the semi final of the Windmill World Masters. And it's there. Now, the first time of asking his first match dart. Kai Fan Leung, a 5 2 victory over Owen Rulofs. 83.8 the winning average, Owen 90.6. But it is the man from Hong Kong. Owen Rulofs. And into the semi-finals, Kai Fan Leung. Kai Fan Leung into the semi-finals of the Windmore World Masters. We have got one more men's quarter-final match to play. Kai Smeets and Barry Copeland up next. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 